Welcome to IT Revision Hub. Today I am going to show you how to configure a Juniper aggregated Ethernet port. In my last video, I have showed you how to create a virtual chassis using Juniper EX2300 series switch and two stack cables. Also we call that cable DAC cable that is direct attach cable. This is the Juniper EX2300 virtual chassis with two switches, two member switches actually. In that virtual chassis I have taken GE0046 and GE10-46 from two switches. Those two ports taken from uh, two switches of the cluster or the virtual chassis and aggregate into a aggregated Ethernet channel. And this is another Juniper switch. I have connected that port to that switch. In this video, I only show you how to create a port channel in the virtual chassis using these two ports GE00-46 and GE10-46. Here 0 re refers to the member 1 switch and here 1 refers to the member 2 switch. Now let's go to the configuration. Here we set the ETH option to 802.3 AD for port GE 0 slash 0 slash 46. And also we have already given GE 1 slash 0 slash 46 ETH options as 802.3 AD. That means we have uh, selected two interfaces as the port channel. Now we'll configure the VLAN for interface AE0 that is the aggregated Ethernet we have already created using two ports GE 0 slash 0 slash 46 and GE 1 slash 0 slash 46 from two member switches. Now we'll set the ether switching VLAN as VLAN as the default VLAN. VLAN member. That should be members. default. Next we'll configure the interface mode as access because the interface the aggregated interface we are going to use is a access port. If it is a trunk port we can select the either switching interface mode as trunk. Now we'll configure, we'll try to connect, commit this configuration. Here you can see we are unable to configure the ether channel due to some errors. Here it mentions unit 0 logical unit is not allowed on aggregated links. That means 
unit 0 we cannot use because uh, in the interface unit 0 is already configured so we need to delete those two interface configurations first also we need to delete the RSTP configuration from each port that we have selected for the port channel or the aggregated ethernet therefore we need to delete GE 0 slash 0 slash 46 interface and again we need to configure the port channel or the aggregated ethernet A0 is the aggregated ethernet name that we are going to give for the for our aggregated ethernet port now the configuration has been committed here you can see A0 is present and 46 interface is not here because it is already taken for the ether channel or the aggregated interface now we will configure the interface or, or an IP for the switch virtual chassis cluster this is the way that we need to provide the IP address for the switch first we need to create a, an L3 interface for the default relay after that we need to create IRB1 IP address and we will commit the configuration now we will see now we will see the IP address or the interface VLAN is up Now we will connect an Ethernet from the switch. Here you can see GE 0 slash 0 slash 46 is up. Means now the aggregate interface is up. You can see the physical link is up. Now we will ping and see whether the gateway is pingable here you can see we we are unable to ping the gateway now we'll see whether the LACP interfaces are up
now we'll set the LACP configuration for the A0 interface. As the active and we'll commit the configuration. Now we have configured LACP configuration for the aggregated Ethernet. We'll commit the configuration. Now we'll see the LACP interfaces are. Here you can see the interfaces are. Now we'll see. Now we'll see we can ping to the gateway IP. The gateway IP is 192.168.10.1. That means our ether channel is working. 